you know, if you've been living under a rock for the past 20 minutes, because that's how long this news has been out, um, Mage got, you know, their tier sets for 10.1. So I figured I'd talk a little bit about it. I am going to focus probably more on Frost than the other two, but I'll mention them to start. Um, I think this is really interesting. You know, it lengthens Arcane's cooldown window, which kind of sucks because it already has such a long ramp up time. And now, you know, that period where you need to be doing damage is and kind of turreting that working doesn't need to turn as much um is higher the most worrying part of it is that it's for mana spent and that would just mean that you're incentivized to you know cancel clear casting you might not um want to build arcane harmony because you don't want concentration you really want to be minimizing the amount of time that you're not spending mana in arcane surge is what this is going to push you towards which just means you're kind of likely to to potentially cancel clear casting uh, which would feel pretty bad so hopefully they fix that otherwise i think this is this will change the arcane <laughs> play style a little bit and make it a bit more interesting um so yeah though i'd envision you would keep keep same to the talents that we really have here because gem really allows you to have to not be as mana starved when you're doing your um once you come out of your surge right you're just you're a lot more stable in your conserve so and um you know Prodigious savant really helps you keep up uh that more flatter technically damage curve uh so i think that yeah you'll you'll keep the same build really for arcane with looking at this though many things are probably going to change for fire I really like this. They're trying to get around you, never pressing Phoenix Flames to make you actually press it. And this is a good way to do it. This buff is certainly stronger than uh, the mastery buff, at least at low target counts. And the four set is really interesting because it gives you a guaranteed way to get hyperthermia. Hyperthermia is a really, really fun buff to have. The problem is it's just one, so incredibly RNG, and then also triggers when you're already inside a global. Whereas this triggers if it does as it says when your spells hit an enemy you can kind of game this a little bit to ensure that it's hitting after your gcd ends and then that way you're not missing out on the value of hyperthermia uh, duration as you would with actual hyperthermia so i think the fire one is super sick very cool love that um, i also like the arcane one and i do like the frost one though the main problem i have with it is it farther forces us into this minimal ice lance rotation gameplay because it increases the damage of frostbolt and flurry and uh you might be saying oh ice has got some more value because now it has a chance to trigger brain freeze well <laughs> it has a much lower chance to trigger brain freeze than frostbolt so you're still listen i mean obviously math hasn't been done yet but trust me there is no way the minimal ice lance build doesn't just gain a lot more from this than the uh the normal rotation does um so that's one downside because I really wanted to see the minimal ice lance rotation go away for next year. However, I think that this is a really, really fun Mythic Plus tier set because it incentivizes you to actually use Flurry and AoE. Um, not so much really weave it in, though you can still do that, but like you want to be spinning your brain freezes as fast as possible. You want to be, and all these ice lances that you're doing AoE are going to give you more brain freezes, which are just going to do even more damage. So I don't know. From my point of view, I think it looks like a somewhat non-interactive but fun tier set. Um, I would have wished, you know, they probably didn't do something as simple. Uh, but, you know, casting Ice Lance, give, potentially giving you Brain Freeze, is probably going to feel pretty good in AoE. So, I'm happy about this. Um, and in a way, this is a little bit like Glacial Fragments, though not really. I know a lot of people want to see it back, personally. I yeah, you know, I don't really care for it. It's just like if you added more damage to Ice Lance, it's just it's not very cool. Uh, but this will actually change your AOE rotation, your AOE priority. So I'm all for it. Anyway, let me know if you guys have any thoughts. I made a, made a post in the forums, but it's nothing really special. And just said the same thing I already did to you, except I didn't even mention fire. Um, and I do think <laughs> people probably won't agree with me here. I mentioned that Freezing Winds probably needs to be nerfed a little bit just because we're overwhelmed with Fingers of Frost in our current AoE rotation. Having to fit these flurries in as well is a bit rough when you're also trying to, you know, put in kind of cold and ice nova and to some extent Alan <laughs> Storm if they were to not make it trash. Um, so yeah, I do think that we need to have a little bit less Fingers of Frost in AoE, though hopefully it would be, you know, buffed some other way. So, but you never know. You know, yeah, this could for sure cause Fractured Frost to be viable. I'm just kidding. There's almost zero chance. But 
doesn't hurt to have hope for some of those deathborn people. Uh, death, deathborn, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I've spoken about this at length, especially in my last video. For love of God, please redesign Fractured Frost. No one's watching this uh, this part of the video. No Blizzard dev, if they were to ever click on this, but I still want to say it because it's like probably the town I feel the most passionate about getting redesigned. Even though even if it was redesigned, it probably still wouldn't be amazing. So, all right. Have a good day. If you have any questions, comments, leave them down below.